Hey YouTube, Kim Brzezelic here. Um, it is currently about 8.30 in the morning, and the only reason I'm awake at this hour is because um, I woke up after maybe three hours of sleep. Uh, came on out here about 3.30 or 4 o'clock in the morning, and um, Did a little filming of some uh, little uh, project, so you know, a video to follow this one will show what I did to where I brought me to where I am today with the Chinese mini lathe. Yeah, I think all that made sense. You know, let me show you what I'm talking about. It's a little easier to see, maybe. Um, first we'll um, visit the, uh, the height gauge, very happy with that, I can uh, get a feeler gauge or just simply take a tool blank and lay on top of there and easily verify my tool height. I got a relief cut out on the bottom of that, so there's no rocking and rolling. And you can see already I've removed the compound again. Only this time I have created some clearance. Um, <clears throat> as it sat here, I was not able to use my Jacob's chuck in the tailstock unless it was way back, and there is no such thing as way back on a Chinese mini lathe, at least not on a 7 by 10 So, I did capture um, all the work we did on this. I, um, I drilled two more holes. These two, obviously, I was using here under the plate. I drilled two more to attach this to my cross slide. Um, Clarence drilled, counterboard, then tapped and threaded, uh, quarter 20, and uh, shot it all down. Now, one other option with this setup is to remove these two plates, and that way I can easily manipulate my tool post if I need to, and that's probably what I will end up with. Um, and once I start operating this, I need to reinstall my carriage lock. I've been using the half nut to lock my carriage, but um, I got a rather handsome carriage lock, so I might as well use it. So I will. Get on my computer and get this uh, content of preparing that piece and assembling. And uh, share that with you. Please hit the like button. Tell a buddy, bring a friend.